Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you why Mordekaiser is an absolute mid lane raid boss right now. It's because of the new items. You have Heart still giving you infinite HP. Demonic gives you more AP the more HP you have. And then we have Sunfire Aegis which does more damage the more HP you have. With these three items we have the ultimate evil trifecta being absolutely unkillable. With that being said, we do still want to go for Rylai's because this item makes it to where no one can escape you. But first item rush, we're going for Heart Still, which is why we have Exhaust to slow them down to where we can still stay on top. With Ghost, of course. For our runes, we took Conk, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand. With Revitalize, Second Win, Attack Speed, and Double Resistances. We're up against a Magic Damage matchup, so we went for Double Magic Resist. Against Range Champs, I think Mord is actually much better because they can't poke you down with D-Shield, Second Win, and your W Shield. And they end up wasting all their mana and they miss a lot of CS. Early on, you typically want to look to shove wave. That way you can roam. Mord shove is hard to match because you can shove without using any mana. So whenever you shove, they have to use their mana to match it. It's kind of funny how that works. Whenever he steps up, we'll hit him with a Q. Otherwise, we'll use Q to shove wave. We do not want to miss any CS. CS is super important on Mord. We'll grab W. You can go for E level 2. W is much, much safer. Very tanky and lots of sustain on it. Drop the Q into auto attack. We can look to Ward now. I'm not sure where Poppy started, but we're about to find out. All right, so she started bot side, probably did blue gromp, maybe wolf. She's going to be heading over to her red side, and we'll see it coming. As he goes into last hit, we'll bop him with a Q. And hold him underneath his turret, because we can roam whenever we want, pretty much. This is going to give our jungle full scuttle prio. It's also going to let us roam to any lanes if we see anything that looks gankable. If this goes to trade with us right now, we can use W to survive it. Just like this. Reactivate it. They're trying to force this pretty hard right now. I'll go ahead and ghost. I don't feel like dying for this. Fizz uses his flash and ignite. He's not going to be able to kill us though. At all. At all. And he is a goner. 100%. Goodbye Fizz. That's what he gets. Really early gank from the poppy. She three camp cleared. Left her red buff alone. Now she's trying to finish shoving that wave. Good luck with that. We'll grab... Eh, should we go for Boots? Yeah, we'll go Boots. Boots regen being... We'll pick up a Oracles as well so we can keep roaming. That was kind of hairy to get away from. Fizz is very mobile, so is the Poppy. With Ghost, we were able to. Another option, you can go for Ghost and Flash to give yourself more survivability in that way. Having Exhaust is awesome, though, if they have champions like Yon Yasuo, Vayne, Jinx, Hyper Carries that you want to be able to solo and run down consistently even without Rylai's. Drop the Q. I wouldn't have recommended that, but all right. I don't want to miss Cannon Minion. We weren't going to be able to run him down there anyways. Whoo! Got the Cannon. That was close. Now we're going to slowly heal up off W. Just like so. Try to bop him with a Q, but he was able to dodge it. Nearly pulled him back with the E. There goes our W. And down he goes. Goodbye, Fizz. He's not going to have any CS. He's willing to fight us on a lot of minions. He's not really using any abilities on the minions. He's just trying to kill us. Kind of funny. You see where Poppy is. She hasn't really spent her gold yet. She shouldn't be able to fight us. We can reactivate W to heal, just like so. And we'll be level 6 shortly. Fizz's level 6 is going to be heavily delayed due to his constantly dying. We were playing a little bit too fast and heavy there. You can always heal back up on Mord with this build, so you don't want to die too fast. He burns his electrocute. He still has his troll pull, though. We'll wait for R and then we'll find the all in against him. Yeah, he's being a little turd with his positioning. Got him with the shield. 
Not a horrible trade for us, but not great either. Get the single target damage on that. We need to hit the wave with some huge multi attacks to get a bigger shield back. That way we can heal. Try to get him with our E, but he's able to maneuver around it. And there it is. Hey, friend. You want to fight Mord inside of Mord Ard? That's an interesting theory. Nice try, my dude. Into the queue, and down he goes. Fighting Mord off of Ard's hard. We still a lot of his stats. Plus, when our pass is fully stacked, we get a lot of extra movement speed. This is going to be level 5 for a very, very long time. We're going to start roaming here in a moment. I'll stay for a play. I'm not too scared of Poppy. She just took Dragon. Oh. This is not good. All Ghost to escape. It's not worth dying. These buttholes are going to waste a lot of time on this too. It's worth staying alive and not giving giving up a lot of tempo. We don't even have shutdown goal. I'm a little surprised because we have decent CS and a kill. Later to the poppy and the Nasus. Go for Crystalline Bracer. And let's go Giant Spell Control Ward. Fizz is now level 6. We have Exhaust though. We can step up. Where you want to be on Mordekaiser to maximize your W is really inside of the wave. Because the more damage you do, the bigger shield you get. You see the white matter stack up very fast. So by st standing inside of the wave, we're able to smash the whole thing with our Q. And get as much as we need. And there we go. Got pretty much all of those except for one or two. Not bad. He's going to sit back and then we can look to roam. It's fine by me. With R as well, the roam is going to be really scary. Later Fizz. Oh, he's got a control word over here. We'll leave control word bot side to let our support roam. I'll stay here for a moment to shove cannon wave. Hey, friend. He burns some mana. We don't really take much damage. Not a horrible trade. Even with him dodging our attacks there. He's trying to focus me down with his teammate. Yeah, later, Poppy. That's cute. Nice try there, guys. They can't 1v2 us. If we have R up like you see there, we're able to burn pretty much everything out of the Fizz. Reactivate the shield, get all of our health back. That was a terrible E, my bad. <laughs> he goes in for the cannon, he gets a little bop. Boop on the snoot. Another boop on the snoot. Block the turret shot, and we're chilling. He can't survive. He doesn't have enough sustain. He's going to have to reset. It's the only way for him now. Yep, there he goes. I'll take some more of his turret. They're going to have to keep rotating as well to stop us here. They ran Yasuo, Nocturne, Bot Lane, and Rank. Cool. That's going to turn out really well for them, I can tell. I'm going to go fight her in her jungle. She can't fight us. We're too tanky. Hey, Poppy. We get the passive. She burns her R. Hey, friend. The Nautilus R doesn't isn't going to do anything against Fizz Troll Pull. I can still kind of heal off of these a little bit. QE. We're going to die here, possibly. possible that we die here i need zach to react need to time this guy out push him off of us down he goes 
Don't mind if I do. We get ghost extensions, reactivate W for heal. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Zach went AP. You don't see that every day. AP Zach with Rocket Belt. It's kind of interesting. Heal back up. Taking that turret shot. Lost a lot of HP from that. Fizz is resetting. I'll stay for this plate and then reset. Want to get as much gold here. Then we can back for heart still. Ah, oh, we're not going to be able to get the plate. Oh, well. We could stay and shove wave. Should be able to. Don't mind if I do. And there it is. Got the whole wave. Cannons crashed. If it's roamed, we could stay and take turret. Since I don't see him roamed, I kind of want to reset. Sitting on so much gold. Get a full heart still. Into a Rylize is the way to go. Eh, we'll go Swifties for now. We can't afford anything else. Fizz finds the roam. He gets the kill on Aatrox. Feels bad for Aatrox. The biggest person who's going to be annoying to deal with is the Nocturne Yasuo. Yasuo is going to be doing a lot of damage once he's two full items. Even then, if we can get enough HP off of Heart still, should be fine. The burst on Hearthstone is extremely high. Typically, this item has the most damage dealt out of any item in the game for the early and mid game. In the late game, the damage on it falls off a little bit compared to some of the others. Not by much, though. Got the wave shoved. We still have our shield ready to use. No one's matching us at all. No one wants to fight us, I guess. Imagine that. Got him with the heart still, and with our Q, and with our E. They can't fight me here. I'll just R this guy. What are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to do, boy? What you going to do? Oh, it's everybody. Oh, triple, triple knock up from the Nautilus. Got him with Q. Auto attack. Down he goes. Well played. We really didn't die there, man. I'm telling you, Mord's a legit raid boss. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> the amount of tankiness is freaking gross. Nautilus wants a... Or Nasus wants a piece. Wasn't able to give it to him. Should just reset. Missing a lot of health. Teammates are on my minions as well. If you don't have access to the minions, it's hard to heal up on Mord. Let's go for... Go for another giant spell. It's more expensive than blasting one. After Rylize, push for Demonic into Sunfire. If they're AP heavy, you'd go Demonic into... Uh, what would you go for? I guess Demonic's into Vistage. Sunfire's the armor, Vistage is the magic resist. Sunfire is more ideal, I think, since it gives you more damage the more HP you have. We're very HP heavy at the moment. Hey, Poppy. Hey, Fizz. Why did he even throw a shark on me there? It did no damage. Hey, Poppy. Walk her down, use Ghost, because I want to get extensions. This doesn't have Shark here. Ah, uh, those Blast Cones are so broken. Probably <laughs> probably a little bit too strong. Give me that heart still. Boy! Uses Ignite. And we're chilling. Doesn't even matter. We're at 1100 HP here. Got R, got Exhaust. They can't kill us. Every time he dashes into us we'll hit him with a q like that makes it hard for him to out trade us stacking up our shields slowly but surely into an auto attack hey poppy get him nautilus get him boy
I'm going to R this dude. He's going down. Got him with exhaust. He thinks he's the only one with exhaust around here. Down he goes. Into EQ. Goodbye, Yasuo. That is honestly GG's. I don't see them coming back from that. We'll have to throw a shutdown gold for them to get back into the game. Cheesy Yasuo Nocturne bot lane. They kept up in CS. They haven't kept up in kill participation though with my bot lane. We could reset now. I'll stay till we can afford Rylize. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, we can afford Rylize. All right, we can reset. Resetting here is solid. Rylize is super valuable. Fizz was thinking about all inning. <laughs> yeah, he's still looking for it. What a goofball. Nice try, buddy. He might have been able to kill us there since we didn't have shields stacked. It's hard to say. Got Rylize now. Do we want Demonic or Sunfire here? Oh, I think we want Demonic. Demonic's a lot of damage. Nasus is getting tanky as well. I want to do a part two for you guys and show you how busted this is versus range champs. It's twice as good, honestly. Range champs will give up a lot of CS trying to poke you. In the D shield second win in W, they can't do anything to you, especially if they're a mana range champ. They run themselves out of mana. You'll still be above half health and they have zero mana. And, and you're out pushing them. It's hilarious. Boom. Down it goes. Hey, Yasuo. What? Why are we fighting them under turret? Nautilus used his R there. Hey, friend. Give me that heart still. We didn't take much damage from that either. The shield... I could R Yasuo here. I don't really want to. Maybe I should have. And maybe I need to. Eh, maybe not. I feel like in hindsight, I should have, though, to save the Ari. Letting her die is kind of bad. I thought maybe she'd be able to wiggle her way out of it. He, he was able to kind of land everything, though. Boom. Got it. Oh, he, he's hitting us with a lot here. We're going to have to bat claw them off of us. Go for the double heart still. That is a lot of extra HP. Whoa! It's a roller coaster. <laughs> hey, Poppy, you want to fight? Reactivate the shield, get all of our HP back. There's nothing left to fight here. I'm going to go back into the mid lane, force them to come to us, raid boss stuff. You can roam on Mord mid, but if you're finding high value staying in lane, you might as well stay in lane. And we've been able to find quite a bit of value this game, just chilling. You see where the fizz is. He's messing with my teammates on dragon. Could rotate that. My teammates should have it though, 1v2. Nice, they do. Imagine that. A hey, friend, you want to let me get that heart still? I've taken so many turret shots. The turret's done more damage to me than he's done. Look at that. <laughs> what was that, four or five shots? Oh, boy. I'm going to stay. Look at that healing. Nasty. I think I landed that. Shielded it. This guy's on crack. Oh, they quit. Makes sense. All right, guys. I'll see you in part two. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. This time, we're up against another melee champion. Should be pretty straightforward. Perma shove, survive the gank, scale, and win the game. It is a Kiana, so this time we took double armor instead of double magic resist. You do want attack speed on Mord, ideally in your runes for alacrity and your rune stats. That way, you can stack your passive faster by hitting enemy champions three times 
or monsters three times, you can get that passive up, which gives you a bunch of movement speed and obviously a bunch of damage around you as well. They have a Volibear jungle. Gotta watch out for that. Gotta pay attention to where he's at. Looking at the comps, I'd say our comp is a little bit better overall because they don't have a good answer for the Mord. And they don't necessarily have a good answer for Kate Karthus either. They do have an answer for Hecarim and Aatrox, I'd say, but they both have a lot of CC, so we'll see. I'm looking for this is going to be fun. We'll start with Q. We're going to approach the wave. If she tries to stop us, we'll bop her with our Q. She doesn't, though. So we're chilling. Very nice. Auto attack into the Q. We don't want to miss that minion. Q starts at the base of our hitbox. Ideally, we want to push the wave and hit the enemy champion with it. That's not always an option, though. Auto attack Q. We get the solo damage on her there. I'll take the passive trade. That was really nice for us. And then we'll look to push again with Q. Really, really good trade. She started with D-Blade, so she's going to run out of health faster than we are. We'll start, we'll get E now, that way we can do more scrapping. If they have poke, then you should go for W level 2 to survive. W level 2 versus range champs, usually E level 2 versus melees. Getting lots and lots of damage on her. We'll get a ward down right there, and we're chilling. We'll play towards left side, try to avoid volley ganks. Got her with the EQ again. There's the passive. She panicked flashes. She probably thought we had ignite flash or something. We couldn't even have really killed her there. I would have had to exhaust super early. I'm going to run this guy down. Hey, friend. Got him with the E. There's the kill. I think we'll get two out of this. I'm on ghost extensions as well. Got it. That's a double. I'm glad Aatrox pinged because I wasn't really paying attention to that situation. That's the beauty of more mid. You can take prio, shove the wave. So for scuttle fights or for random fiesta stuff, you can show up and take control of the game. Time to reset. Got two kills out of that. They're going to be in a rough spot. Once again, versus range champions, you just need to manage how much damage you're taking. If you are going to take damage, it needs to be to either get a minion, get off a good trade, or your W's up and you're baiting out their mana. There needs to be a good reason. And if you can consistently do that, what ends up happening is you trade off all of their mana for your D shield healing, second wind healing, and W shields. You're still above half health, but they're out of mana. That needs to be your thought process versus range champs. So you might have to play a little bit slower. Maybe not constantly take five autos for no reason, but even then, it can make sense depending on how much damage is already on you in the positioning. Got it. She's trying to dump this wave, I think. Fighting inside of the wave is usually good on Mord, so we can AoE it and get a bunch of shield ready, like this. We can reactivate for the hill. Auto attack into the Q. Hey, friend. I'm down to trade. Ah, Mord took that minion rip. Hey, friend, got our W on. Walk her down with autos. We miss our Q, but still a really good trade for us. Also got the wave pushed off that. Ah, uh, missed that one rip. Our attack speed wasn't quite fast enough to get it. We'll reactivate for the hill. Keep an eye on where Volibear is. I don't see where he is right now. EQ. She has to reset. And it doesn't cost us any mana to trade. It doesn't cost us any mana to shove. That's the beauty of... Raid boss Mord mid. You get to soak ganks. You get the scale, get to shove. Very spicy. Oh, I don't like that. Get them both with my Q. Now we got a path away though. I might be able to get to this speed up. My teammates aren't really moving. I'm pretty fast. I think Kiana dies here. Auto attack into E. We get it. Down she goes. I killed them both. They're both literally dead. I, uh, sorry, teammates. I want this kill. <laughs> Walk him down with the Q. Down he goes. 
That's pretty funny. Good thing that Scuttle was there. Things were getting kind of hairy with the Volibear. Volibear has a lot of self-healing off of his bite after he marks you. His next one will do even more damage and also heal him. All right, we missed two minions, but we got the wave shoved. Sick. Not sure where Vol is. We do have Ghost and Exhaust. She's missing minions to trade with us here. Sick. And we got a plate off of that as well. We just crashed our wave. We can look for the roam here on Trist. May not be doable though. Because of her positioning. We'll see. I don't know if her jump is up is the thing. I have a feeling she knows I'm here. We can't quite afford heart still, but we've got a lot of items plus boots. We only missed maybe a wave for that. I'm okay with backing there. I was hoping Trist would make herself more available for the gank. I think we were on a ward though. Gonna miss a few melees. Kiana's gonna have to roam a reset. She can't stay in the lane. Looks like she's going for the roam. Don't mind if I do. Yep, yeah, there she is. She's doing the roam. Team didn't really react to it. At least the Karthus didn't. We'll go ahead and mute all. EQ. Nice, it actually worked out. Good for them. Down goes the Trist as well. This game's gonna get really hard for them. Holy crap, they couldn't even get a kill there. And we are chilling. Let's lay a ward right here. I wanna know what's coming from that gate. Karthus gets executed because Volibear showed up bot side. We have so much HP. Nearly 2,000. Ooh, barely got out of that. Oh my goodness. Come on, Kiana. She wants to eat a Q here. Is she going to try to hit us? I wish she would. I want her to use some up, up some of that mana. Just too much mana right now. Stand away from our minions. Make her kind of choose. We blocked the turret shot. We took literally zero damage from the turret there. And we got to trade with her. Very spicy. Auto attack into the queue. We're chilling. Took zero shots from the dirt again. <laughs> zero, once again, zero damage from the turret. <laughs> well, that was the first one. Dang, no. We have R. He can't gank us. You never gank Fed Mord, who has R up. It's a bad idea. Would not recommend it. Ten out of ten. Would not recommend. Hey, friend. Zero turret shots. It's with how we're timing it. Oh, Karth got it. That's kind of funny. I'll just leave my teammates' pings muted. There's a lot of really bad pings. There was like, one good one this game, though, from the Hecarim. The Hecarim ping was very helpful. There it is. Nice. Who can stay? Imagine that. We don't have to reset because we're more baby. Or gets to do what he wants. We got the plate. Reactivate for the hill. I don't see Kiana. She's, oh, there she is. Oh, she wants to play rough, huh? Hey, friend. She put, in a, she put Ignite on us there. 
Oh, it's Volley Bear. I walked out of it, at least. I'll get away from the Blitz. His hook's on cooldown. Could be worth fighting here. Nice. He's fighting me on top of Karthus. Not the best idea. Triss can't kill us. Oh, wait. This is warded? Oh, my God. Triss really got that kill. Sheesh. All right. It's time for Heart Still into... I guess we could realize an Heart Still here. I'll just go Heart Still. Against their team. Very physical damage heavy. It's looking like a plated type of game into a Rylize. Rylize it is. It's actually pretty funny just shoving mid. No matter what they do, they can't stop you. No mana cost, high push rate, high survivability, good, scal good scaling. She's back mid, she doesn't have proper items. We'll shove her down, look for a roam. If our R's on cooldown, if R's up, we could just really stay mid. We don't have to roam at all. I'll let her miss those minions first. Lock that. She can't do it. <laughs> What's she gonna do? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, nice try, Blitz. You want to give me that heart still, buddy? Be a good boy. Now they want to fight. You're dead. Auto attack Q and the heart still. Nice try from the Triss. She thought she was real strong. She killed us last time when we were sitting on a bunch of gold. Got to focus the Kiana here. I'm on full conk stacks. My W is on cooldown. Thank you. Let's get our shield back up. Creaming the minions. It's the fastest way to get it. The only other way is to take a lot of damage. I'd rather keep my HP high though. Come on, Triss, come back, baby. Whatcha? Smack her down with a Q. R's on cooldown. We could reset for Ryalize here. That would make the most sense. Top lane's been slugging it out. I kind of forgot they were even in the game. I haven't seen them very much. We'll pick up Ryalize and go straight for Demonic into Sunfire. Demonic. Sunfire, and then final item. Probably Vistage. Vistage would be really, really strong with all the self-healing Mord has with his Conqueror and his W reactivations. We're getting a max shield of 863 and a minimum shield of 144. I'm going to stay mid and shove. R is about to be up, and we have so much gold spent. Down goes Kiana, and I'm going to keep pushing. On most champions, you wouldn't want to keep pushing like this, but on Mord, we can get away with it. Mord's hard to stop when R is ready. All we need is one Claw and Triss. Ah, oh, she kept walking away. Yep, they're trying to figure out what they should do. We're 15 minute mark on their inhib turret. <laughs> they're, figure, they're trying to decide what's the right protocol here. We get the assist. I didn't want to pop ghosts. They're playing really safe. I think we just end on them. You don't normally want to take inhibs pre-20 because then they start getting a bunch of free gold and XP. But in this case, I don't know. That's it. It's a 15 minute FF. 
All right, guys, we're going to do a part three. I want to show you a ranged matchup. I'll see you there. Yo, what's going on, guys? For the third time in a row, we are not up against a ranged mana champion. Instead, we're up against Rumble, so we'll make this do. He ran Electrocute, so we need to be mindful of our trading pattern with him. We'll try to chunk him down level one with constant Qs whenever he goes in and trade off that way. He took Resolve Tree. Resolve Tree is a little overtuned, in my opinion. I mean, if you look at it right here, me, Thresh, Gwen, him all ran Resolve Tree. Wukong probably should have gone Resolve Tree as well. The fact that he didn't is going to give Gwen a bit of an upper hand for the majority of the game. Typically, when people go for Inspiration Tree, they're looking for free boots in Biscuits in the top lane. An issue with that is if things go bad in the first couple of levels, it, it's going to take so long to get those free boots that it can be pretty hard to come back. So, Resolve Tree is super stable, and the scaling on it's really good as well. I'm going for an auto and a Q. He wants to auto us down. We'll take a really fat trade. That was actually a decent trade, all things considered. He got he did get off his electrocute, which isn't really what we want. But uh, that's all right. He's push he's pushing us off of the CS, but at the same time, he's not really last hitting, so it's kind of annoying. Get a single target Q on him there. He's already using his refill. I'll use mine. He's not even trying to last hit. He's just trying to hit us with his nonsense. It's pretty annoying. I'm going to scoop him into me here in a second. Since he hasn't been pushing the wave, we hit level two first. Very good trade for us. We'll be able to heal back faster because of the D shield. Not entirely sure where the Hecarim is. He's pressuring us with his Q a little bit. I'll play towards my bot side, where my Graves is at. His shield's on a cooldown here. We get him with the EQ, and his bone plating's on cooldown. We're both level 3. Gotta watch out for those rockets. We don't want to let him get off a free electrocute. If he lands a rocket, he's going to look to go in for an electrocute. Very good trade for us. We got a full stack conk off that. He wanted the cannon minion, so I was standing in front and forcing him to really come in for it because I wanted to take a big trade. Since we have conquer and he has electrocute, the bigger trade we take, the more favorable it's going to be. What just happened? Bot side. They just both died before Graves could gank. It's kind of weird. Don't really understand what happened there. Got him with the EQ. Oh, actually missed one of my attacks there. Flash. I don't think I needed to. I was just trying to make sure Hecarim couldn't push me into the turret, but in hindsight, he was actually really low on health there. It's kind of interesting. Pull that back and get it. I was trying to also get the rumble as well. We'll heal back. And now he has to reset. We have double his CS. He's been, he tried to trade with us so hard level 1. He missed a lot of minions. And we're crashing him underneath his turret, so he's kind of struggling a bit. A little bit. Ooh, almost missed the cannon. Go ahead and heal. Look for the reset. In a pretty good spot, I'd say. With double SCS wave crash, it's going to bounce back to us since we did crash. It is his wave will reinforce first. I'll still look for heart still first item. Actually, we'll go boots. We'll go boots into heart still. I think boots gives you more options. If you go a pure heart still rush and your lanes happen to be losing, it's going to be hard to influence it with zero boots. Roaming, you'll lose way too much value, so... Boot to speed, regen bead, refill, super cheesy. Lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of freaking uh, sustain off this, though. Ah, that's annoying. We get the hook. I don't think we can kill him here. But, I mean, we did do over half his health. Maybe the ghost was worth it. And <laughs> Normally, you want to save ghosts for the roams. I'll leave control word right uh, right there.
There's something happening top side. Got him with the Q. We did miss a minion for it though. Nice. Nice. My cannon's focusing backline for some reason when his cannon's standing right in his face. He misses a rocket. Does he have flash? I don't really remember. Oh, I should have blocked that. That's my bad. When he R's me, I'm pretty sure I can just R him and then his R will disappear, which is pretty funny. Nice. And nice. Look for a big trade underneath this turret. Bop him with a Q if we can. Got it. We have so much regeneration. He's not chipping away at our health at all. In a meaningful way. Yeah. He, is, he, he needs to reset like right now. He's lost all of his health. I can kill him underneath his turret. We'll block that. He'll back up. And yeah. I want Hecarim to come mess with me. I'll absolutely destroy him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Rumble R. That's hilarious. Gotta chug some refills. Hey, why are there people here? We almost died. <laughs> I didn't even realize Wukong got there. Did he TP for that? That's kind of weird. <laughs> didn't even realize. I thought it was just uh, Rumble and the Hecarim there. I need to reset. I can push this guy off his red though. Make him eat crap. Hey, buddy, you need to keep resetting here, Hecarim. My dude, what are you doing? What are you doing, my dude? Down he goes. Rest in pepperonis, Hecarim. That's going to send him behind. Rumble said, what's the point? What's the point in what? What's the point of what? What is he talking about? I had him muted. He probably doesn't... We're trolling. Oh, maybe Wukong's trolling. Oh, wow. Yeah, Wukong's bitter. Holy moly. I guess that's what's going on here. I didn't even realize. I guess he's just trying to rack up a 10-man or a 9-man report. We have Ghost Flash. This will be the last fight. I have a feeling. That was a funny rumble R. Auto Q Auto. AMF. You guys want to fight so badly? Well, keep coming. Hey, Galio. Oh my gosh, they're kiting me out. Gotcha. Auto into Q. <laughs> they couldn't kill us. They actually couldn't kill us there. They're all hit trying to... <laughs> From this point, their top laner was intentionally trolling and trying to lose. So we're going to go ahead and call it there. If you guys enjoyed this Mordekaiser mid lane video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.